So I hate to admit it, but I recently, just recently started to use this operator within all my expressions, and it's just so great. I don't know what took me so long to actually incorporate this. And the operator is called defaulting to. Let me show you why it is so awesome to use within your bubble applications. So I have a dashboard here. And within this dashboard, I have main KPIs at the top. And for each one of these KPIs, I'm doing a search for, and then I am defaulting to new orders or whatever I want the default empty state to be. So in this case, I'm going to do a search for the orders, and I'm going to show the most popular order here. But if there is no popular order for some reason, I'm going to show my empty state of no orders received. This allows me to not have to create an, a conditional here to account for that empty state and just to add the operator onto the expression, which is saving me time in development world and maybe even additional processing speeds because you don't need to check that additional conditional. You just attach it onto your existing expression. So I have it here. I have it here. I have it here. Again, we don't want any areas in our application to have empty data if there's data supposed to be there because it makes our application look broken and, and bad. So by using the defaulting to operate within your expressions, it makes it super easy to use, to fill in all of your empty states, and to keep your UI looking great and updated and like it's working. So it's for those reasons and more that I'm using the defaulting to app operator within nearly all of my expressions that I need to use it for. And it's just awesome. I'm bummed that it took me so long, but now hopefully you know how to use it as well, and we can all use it in our applications and we'll be better for it. So if you enjoyed this bubble tip, please follow me for more.